हेलो एवरीवन टुडे टॉपिक इज कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ जीन्स क्रोमोसोम्स डीएनए सो इन दिस क्लास वी विल लर्न व्हाई डू वी रिजेंबल आवर पेरेंट्स व्हाट आर द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ स्टार्टिंग जेनेटिक्स व्हाट आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड फंक्शंस ऑफ जीन्स एंड व्हाट आर द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ डीएनए एंड क्रोमोसोम सो प्लीज वॉचिंग till the end of my video welcome back once again in your biology class myself nausin and you are watching educational support every time i try to upload a new video only for you so click the subscribe button and if this is the first time you are visiting my channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and you have turned on notifications on your phone so whenever i release a video you will see it on your home page so let's get started did you know why do we resemble our parents our parents provided most of the information that governs our appearance our activity and our behavior they provided most of the genes a gene is a basic unit of heredity in a living organism but the question is where do they come from genes come from our parents we may inherit our physical traits and the likelihood of getting certain diseases and conditions from a parent genes contain the data needed to build and maintain cells and pass genetic information to offspring Each cell contains two sets of chromosomes. One set come from the mother and the other comes from the father. The male sperm and the female egg carry a single set of 23 chromosomes each. Including 22 autosomes play an X or Y sex chromosomes. A female inherit an x chromosome from each parent but a male inherit an x chromosome from their mother and a y chromosome from their father so genetics is also seen as the study of genes or genetic variation genetics is a field of biology that studied how traits are passed from their parents to their offspring The passing of traits from parents to offspring is known as heredity. So next question is why genetic studying is important? In the future, doctors and scientists hope to use our genetic information to diagnose, treatment, prevention and cure many diseases actually genes tell how your body is to made by all the proteins to survive and grow on earth how your body works and what is happening when it does not work properly so they will eventually lead to more effective medicines and treatments provided forensics legal implications genetic enhancement and that's why genetic studying is more important did you know who is the father of genetics yes you are right in 9 in 1865 gregor johann mendel was the first to describe the elements of heredity that is gene his observation and analysis of the observable features of 
P lead him to conclude that specific traits were passed on unchanged from a parent plant to the next generation. So what are genes? A gene is a string of nitrogen bases that indicates the manner by which protein are made. Proteins are made up of strings of amino acids. They function as enzymes, organic catalyst, and as structural building blocks of the cells. In biology, a gene is a sequence of nucleotides in DNA or RNA that encodes the synthesis of a gene product, either RNA or protein. So next we are going to discuss characteristics of genes. Several genes are located in each chromosome. The human cell contains 23 pairs of chromosomes. The trait is one of the characteristics determined by one or more genes. The total complement of genes in an organism or cell is known as its genome. So genome which may be stored on one or more chromosomes. And a chromosome consists of a single very long DNA helix on which thousands of genes are encoded. A gene is a segment of DNA which contains information for the synthesis of one enzyme or one polypeptide chain. The region of the chromosome at which a particular gene is located is called the locus and each locus contains one allele of a gene. However, members of a population may have different alleles at the locus, each with a slightly different gene sequence. Abnormal genes and genes that are formed due to new mutations also result in certain traits and genes vary in size depending on the code or the protein they produce. All the cells in the human body contain the same DNA. The difference between the cells occurs due to the different type of genes that are turned on and therefore produce a variety of proteins. So viewers, if you enjoy this video or learn anything, then press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you and you miss my previous videos, then visit my YouTube channel, educational support and link of these videos are given in my description box below. So go for it and subscribe my channel. So next question is, did you know what are the basic functions of genes? Genes control the functions of DNA and RNA. Proteins are the most abundant materials in the human body which not only help the being the building blockers for muscles connecting tissues and skin but also take care of the production of the enzyme. And this enzyme play an important role in conducting various chemical processes and reactions within the body. So therefore, protein synthesis is responsible for all activities carried on by the body and are mainly controlled by genes. And these genes consist of a particular set of instructions or specific functions. For example, globin gene was instructed to produce hemoglobin. And hemoglobin is a protein that helps to carry oxygen in the blood. As we know, several genes are located 
in each chromosome so first to discuss chromosome did you know what is chromosome a chromosome is a long dna molecule with part or all of the genetic material of an organism in the nucleus of each cell the dna molecule is packed into the thread like structure and called chromosomes so chromosomes are located in the center of the cell called the nucleus next is structure of chromosome chromosomes are normally visible under light microscope only during the metaphase of cell division where all chromosomes are aligned in the center of the cell in their condensed form before this happens each chromosome is duplicated except and both copies are joined by a centromere and resulting either in an egg shaped structure so pairs chromosome come in pairs each human body cell actually has 23 pairs of chromosomes for total of 46 of this dna strands half of your chromosomes come from your mother while the other half comes from your father x and y the fact that the x and the y chromosomes two types of human chromosomes determine if an individual turns out to be a boy or a girl is another characteristics of chromosomes the x and y chromosomes are sex chromosomes females have two x chromosomes while male have one x chromosome and one y chromosome so child gender a characteristics of chromosomes is that a mother always contribute an x chromosome to her child while the father of the child can contribute either an x chromosome or a y chromosome as a result the father is the parent who determines the sex of a child and still a child inherits some traits from his mother and other traits from his father autosomal types outside of the x and y chromosomes the other chromosomes in the 23 pairs in the human body are called autosomal chromosomes the autosomal chromosomes are considered chromosome pairs 1 through 22 reproductive cells such as eggs and sperm must have the right number of chromosomes in order to have offspring that develops correctly for example individuals with down syndrome have three copies of chromosome 21 instead of the two copies found in the other individuals something considered an autosomal abnormality as we know genes control the function of dna so secondly discuss dna did you know what is the full form of dna the the full form of dna is deoxyribonucleic acid genes consist of a polynucleotide chain called dna or rna for some viruses that generally exist as a double helix so the structure of dna the vast majority of organisms encode their genes in long strand of dna deoxyribonucleic acids and dna is made up of molecules called nucleotides each nucleotide contains a phosphate group a sugar group and a nitrogen base did you know what are the four types of nitrogen bases 
The four types of nitrogen bases are adenine, thymine, guanine and cytosine. So the nitrogen bases here represented with the letters A, T, G and C signify a code that is translated into one of the 20 amino acids that make up every protein found in every organism on the earth. So each nitrogen base always pairs with another nitrogen base such that A always pairs with the T and G always pairs with the C. The specificity of base pairing occurs because adenine and thiamine align to form two hydrogen bonds whereas cytosine and guanine form three hydrogen bonds. The two strands in a double helix must therefore be complementary with the sequence of bases matching such that the adenines of one strand appear with the thymine of the other strand and so on. The complementary nitrogenous bases are divided into two groups pyrimidines and purines. In DNA the pyrimidines are thymine and cytosine and the purines are adenine and guanine. So check your progress. Number one is why do we resemble our parents? Number two is what are the importance of studying genetics? Number three is what are the characteristics and functions of genes? Number four is what are the basic structure of chromosome? And number five is what are the basic structure of DNA? So thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. If you want me to teach you more, if you want me to make more this kind of video, make sure you comment below under this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell and turn on the notifications. It's very important for you because Every single time when I release a video, there was a chance that you will see it on your homepage. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.